Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Yep, coming at you with that. 2019 Bowman Baseball 8-Box Jumbo Edition. Pick your team, number 15, from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Very big thank you to all of these folks right here for getting into it. Appreciate you getting in. Thomas Dudley, Last Spot Mojo Pirates. There's everyone else right there, too. Thanks, everyone. Good luck. this guy open I think we have we may have one more case of this I don't know if we're saving that case for mixers or stuff like that but I don't know we'll see this might be our last case for a little bit maybe we'll have one more silver pack promo poster I think one of which is right hang up right uh, behind me right there there? There. <laughs> Three autos per box in this jumbo, so a whopping 24 autos total in this break. It's heavy. There we go. All right, so there's four on the left side, four on the right side. Good luck, everybody. Let's do a quick uh, roll call. Who's in this break and watching right now, watching live? What are you hoping for? What are you expecting? Light day on light day in baseball today. Only a handful of games. It's a getaway day, travel day for a lot of teams. But we've got a bunch of games in the books already. Tampa Bay Rays finally beat the <laughs> finally beat the Royals. They lost the uh, they lost the doubleheader yesterday, which I saw on MLB Network. That was the first time in however many years that a first place team or the team with the best record in baseball lost a doubleheader to to a team with the worst record in baseball. But the Rays got it done. Rays three, Royals one. Twins beat the Astros again, eight to two. Rockies beat the Braves eleven to six. Looks like the Rockies are starting to come alive. And I think uh, Syndergaard did it all today. Noah Syndergaard hit a home run and shut out the uh, shut out the Reds. Mets won one nothing. Rich has the Mets in this one. And then the Padres beat the Braves eleven to two. I think uh, Machado's bat starting to come alive, maybe. Jay's looking for some Royals color. Corbin Burns is what Silver Stacker's looking for. And Jeff Iveson, nothing for sale? A lot of things are for sale on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check out the site. Got plenty of stuff to do tonight. And plenty of time, too. We break from 3 o'clock Pacific to 11 o'clock Pacific. All right, box one. Good luck. What game do we have here? We've got Cardinals Nationals on, on TV. And breeze through this paper here. We've got Pete Alonzo. There you go. I heard of him. 410 out of 499. I think one of the more... I mean, we all know about Vlad Guerrero Jr. Or actually, I'll set this over here. We all know about Guerrero Jr. We all know about Tatis Jr. You know, all the other big rookies, right? I think Pete Alonso is a really nice story. So we'll breeze through this paper. These are facsimile autographs here. Gentlemen, you know, 
There's Casey Mize, Richard Loop, who was saying earlier, he's very excited about about Casey Mize. He threw a threw a no hitter. I think he, he got promoted to Double A, and his first start was a no hitter. And I think it was like a sub ninety pitch no hitter. It's Christian Pash at a one fifty on that one. We'll have all these top loaded before they go out, of course, before they get sorted and shipped. And is that our first auto? It is. 13 out of 50, gold shimmer, Roberto Ramos. That card is gold. That goes to Scott. And the Rockies. There you go. Mr. Mike's Addy, what's going on, Chris? Oh, Brian O has some trivia for us. It's a hard one. He like, well, we got plenty of time to to think. We're only we were only just three quarters of the way through box one. So post nineteen eighty, most stolen bases, like top ten. How, do you mean career stolen bases or single season? Most stolen bases in a season. There's Tommy Romero for the Rays. Tampa Bay Rays, that goes to Daniel. Daniel D with Tampa Bay. So career stolen bases, top 10, post-1980. So players that, so like does Ricky Henderson count or no? Because he's, who started their careers after 1980? Yeah, Billy Hamilton's got to be up there. There's Ryan Costello, purple chrome to 250. Nice, twins. That's going to go to Jarrett. Nice, Jarrett K with his twins. So be Billy Hamilton's third with 914 stolen bases. Tim Raines, Rock Raines has 808 stolen base. He's in fourth. Ricky Henderson is tops, of course. 1,400, 1,406 stolen bases. That's a lot more than Billy Hamilton's going to get. Okay, so ended career post-1980. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. There's Brian Anderson to 499. So that's the criteria, folks. Brady Singer to 499, Refractor. Yeah, Kenny Lofton's got to be up there. Top 10. You know who else is up there? Juan Pierre or and Brett Butler. Those guys got to be up there. Lofton is eighth, 620, two stolen bases. Brett Butler, Juan Pierre. Those are my two entries. We'll breeze through this paper. All right, there we 
go. So those are our three autos right here. I'll do a recap video uh, in a separate video after this break. So keep an eye out for that if you're watching. Whoa, Nick Jaspi in on the trivia. He's saying the Billy Hamilton with 914 stolen bases is the 1900s player and not modern Billy Hamilton. So that's that's the Nick Jaspi ruling. Oh, does Nixon has 620? He's ninth. Sam Strayer saying, there, geez, there's one of those gold Ramos cards on eBay. With four bids left at $76 with five days left. Yeah, this, this Bowman stuff is pretty fantastic. Patrick Goodwin is going to meet Vladdy Guerrero Sr. on Saturday. I don't think you can call him Vladdy, Patrick. It's Mr. Mr. Guerrero to you. Tell him that jazbeescasebreaks.com says hi. Jarrett K is guessing uh, maybe David Eckstein on that list. Ex David Eckstein maybe. Hal McRae or Colin McRae. Hal McRae. <laughs> That's true. I guess you're right. I didn't really think about that, Jay. Yeah. Billy Hamilton's only been in the league for like six, seven years, right? Doesn't have 900, 900 stolen bases in six seasons. That'd be insane. So actually, post nine. Thanks, Nick Jaspi. Post 1980 players, I guess, would be. Well, Ricky Anderson would be would be tops. And I guess, I don't know, we'll, we'll just re resort that list right there. Next box, three, three more autographs. Paper, chrome, paper. It's all paper. And Ryan McKenna, purple paper to 250. Ooh, Vince Coleman. Who gets Vince Coleman? Good one, Josh Pruce. Vince Coleman's up there. That's what Brian O says. 752 stolen bases. We've got three left. I guess this, was, this wasn't as hard as we. Oh, it was that was that a no on Brett Butler? Jared Nichter thinking uh, Dave Roberts. Curtis says, this seems like a nightmare. So, no, it's a joy to sort. Every break is a joy to sort. Any break that you guys buy into, spend your hard-earned money on, is a joy to sort. We're happy to do it. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. The other guys, the other guys don't, aren't happy to do it. Jaspies, though. That's how much we love the hobby. Ozzie Smith, Jimmy Rollins, that's a good one, Jack. Someone was saying, I forget who, who was saying that, it's tell, tell him to sign on the sweet spot. Apparently he doesn't do it. You don't have any any extra stack? Well, of course, I'm not I'm not sorting this floor. We got Brandon Marsh, gold. Or no, that's not gold, but it's a seventy-five, whatever that color is. Chartreuse. But we haven't seen our first autograph yet out of this box. Where are you? 
There it is. Mateo Gill, 208 out of 499. I think we mentioned Lofton. Sam Sturridge. Didn't we mention Kenny Lofton? Oh, Canary Yellow. Oh, so Brett Butler is on that list, and Smith is on that list. There he goes. Now we need one more player. One more speedster. Can you give us the number of stolen bases this player has? And there's Telmito Augustine for the Nats. Oh, that Cardinals autograph, of course, goes to David Harrell, Big Boys 007. The Nationals autograph goes to John Samuelson. There you go, guys. Kind of blanking on speedsters. Jose Reyes? Yeah, Jose Reyes maybe? Jose Reyes, nice. Nice one, Josh. I think you got at least a handful of those, right? Out of 150, we got an atomic. Miguel Amaya for the Cubbies. That is for, who's got the Cubs in this one? Michael Ang with the Cubs. There you go. Josh Bruce is like, yeah, that question was in the wheelhouse of useless knowledge. There's Austin Riley for the Braves to 125. Man, Brian O was like, man, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Brian, for that, by the way, says Jack as well. Brian O was thinking, man, he thought that was going to be a hard one. That he thought we'd get through a good, good chunk of this break. No, this, this, this crew is too good, I guess. And we got Vince Fernandez, Speckle, 228 out of 299 for the Rockies. Scott with the Rockies. And that's our third auto of the box. Nice. Box two. Once again, if you're watching the replay, I will be doing another uh, a recap video at the end of this. So be sure to check that out. No, Nick, Nick Jaspi, not a bot, Curtis. He is uh, he is still sentient. He is doing that of his own accord. Nick's just trying to help us give away money, Curtis. Are you objecting to that? I guess if we fill up that last break for the uh, for the break credit promo, maybe we can convince Nick to to give away more money if we do another set of breaks tonight. Possible.
I did not wink. There must be something wrong with the your refresh rate on your computer, Curtis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Josh. We got, we got. Look at all these boxes we got to go through. We need something to pass. And there's not very many baseball games going on today, so. So feel free to throw a trivia question out there for the, for the crew, Josh Pruce. Yeah, Mr. Mike said exactly. Yeah, he should have done. He should have done pre 1980. Brian should have done pre 1980. We never would have gotten that. Well, we would have, we would have gotten 1900s Billy Hamilton. And then we'd have to, it'd have to be like Ty Cobb, maybe. Tris Speaker. Jeff Burrows. No, Jeff Burrows didn't seal bases. There's Bo Burrows. I don't want speaking of Burrows. We spell it differently, though. Bo Burrows for the Tigers. That's going to be for TJ Bove. Oh, wow. Josh is going to go hockey on us. Only Curtis could probably answer these questions. And the, maybe Jason Jasby. In the top 50 point leaders of all time in the NHL, 10 are not Canadian. Who are they? No, yeah, I'm never going to get any of this. Good luck, guys. I'll keep doing the break. There's Gavin Lux to 150. Blue Chrome. Curtis, you have guesses? Curtis is our token Canadian. George, of course I remember George Foster. I remember listening to him on the wireless. Curtis says Ovechkin. Oh, maybe Jack B is a hockey guy too. Yarmir Yager, Sergey Fedorov, Jeremy Roenick. Bryce Wilson to 409. I think he got called up recently, didn't he? I don't know if he's making starts or anything like that, but. Josh Prue says Yager, Ovi, Hull. Jason Jaspi saying they'll pretty much all be Russians. Joe Adele to 125. That's for the Angels. That's going to go to David Duffy. Ronex a yes as well. Jason Bell saying Blue Jackets down 1-0, but we're never out of games. I hope we beat Boston tonight. Go up 3-1. Been waiting for 19 years for the Blue Jackets to make that run. Here's our first autograph of the box. Chad Spangenberger. Got uh, oh Chad Spangenberger goes to Mark Glassman Boombox and the Blue Jays two forty two out of four ninety nine. There's Eluhuris Montero, Montero going to Big Boys 007 and the Cardinals.
Tall paper. Should be one more autograph in this box. There's Otani Sterling. Bowman Sterling's coming back later this year, folks. Keep an eye on jazbeescasebreaks.com for all the details later this year. It's all paper. Let's get some focus here. Josh is saying two more Americans on that list. Apparently the Red Sox have banned Fortnite in their clubhouse. There's Lion Richardson to 250. That goes to the Red Legs. That's for Cheryl. And we got Luis Urias, our third auto of the box. That goes to EA and the Padres. box. Let me move some of these paper base out of the way. All right, next one. I think we have one more. Josh is saying a defenseman who played for 20 years. That's your clue. Nationals up 2-1, bottom of the fifth. Strasburg appears to be cruising. Carlos Rodon to the IL with, potentially, with a potentially serious elbow injury. Tim Anderson, Cody Bellinger, named Players of the Month. Tim Anderson for the AL, of course. Cody Bellinger for the NL.
Tim Anderson slash 375, 349, 615 with six homers, five doubles, 18 RBIs, and MLB leading 10 stolen bases. Wow. Bellinger, all he did was hit 431, 508 on base, 890 slugging in March and April with 14 home runs, six doubles, one triple, 37 RBIs. He steals bases too, five stolen bases. Wow. Four more to go. Looks like Jack B., who says growing up in Montreal helps helps me with this trivia, the hockey trivia. Has got one. Three to go. Here's our first. Ooh, two autographs? Wow. We got a bonus here, maybe. All right, first one is for the Phillies. Will Stewart with the fight in Phils. That's going to go to Josh Pruce. And the redemption is going to be Yusel Kikuchi. Nice. Chrome rookie autograph blue refractor parallel for the Mariners. Sean Parr with the Mariners. Nice one. There you go. Their Japanese pitcher. Nice. Just came over this off season. Supposed to be a pretty solid middle of the rotation guy. See it. We got Jonathan India, Speckle. Let's see if that's two autos already. Let's see if we get, um, let's see if that's a bonus auto. Could be. There's Josh Hader to 150, blue paper. And we got Chad Spangerberg gold this time. Five out of 50 for Boombox and the Blue Jays. Brian needs a hint, Josh Proust. Can we get an era on the, on the two fins and one Swede to go? This is why I can't... This is why I will not be successful in sports, Jeopardy. The hockey will always kill me. And college and collegiate sports and like Olympics. Those would be the subjects I'd have to study. There's Ryan Bannon to 125. Next time we're already at we're already at three autographs. But I'm wondering if, if we got a bonus out of that redemption. Let's find out.
and another redemption. Kesson Hero ready for the show, and he reveals Chrome Prospect autograph of Diego Cartaya. That's for the Dodgers. Dodgers catching prospect. That goes to Michael Tran, my Dodgers. Jason Jaspi says, I got a fun trivia I'd like to relive around this time. This is for you, Joe. Which four teams in the NHL have come back from being 0-3 in the series and won? Kings. That's uh, twice, I think. Pittsburgh versus Islanders is one, says Jack. Right, and then San Jose Kings. And there's an older one. Silani and Sudin for Josh Pruce's quiz. Trivia is there. Out of 150, blue paper. Nick Senzel, who might be called up pretty soon. And for Josh's points trivia, last one was an Oiler and a King. Ooh, Chris, look at this. What a box. Eight out of 50, Christian Pash, Bowman Scouts Top 100 auto for the Bravos. Martin Levinson with that. Just when you thought this box was done, another auto delivered, eight out of 50. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Next box. Good luck. We're, we're halfway through this full case break, this jumbo break, ladies and gentlemen. Almost there. Ron Holland said NT Collegiate sold out, so we got that on the schedule. So it'll happen a little bit later tonight. And we're, we're only just, we're only one break away from unlocking that promo, ladies and gentlemen. That's the other Flawless Collegiate. Flawless Collegiate number three is already full. Flawless Collegiate number four, let's go for it. All of that is on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, 
A hab, I think, is short for habitant. Habitants. Canadians. Canadians. I got into my water. All right. Jay's like, I don't know why I picked the Royals. I've never had a Royals hit. No one's ever had a Royals hit. Royals don't have any hits. Sure they do. We're only halfway through the break. Jay, it's not, not quite time to panic yet. We've got four more boxes to go. We've got 12 more autographs to go. Got to play to the whistle, Jay. Play to the whistle. All right, we got Dal Lugo, gold paper to 50, and Joe Adele, paper to 499. paper, but still. Brian O saying, I'm in a hockey break tonight. Jack, tell me if they're any good. I know. Likewise. Got Ryan Weathers to two ninety nine speckle. It's all paper right there. And Alec Baum, nice. That's for Josh Proust and the Phillies. That's a strong one, Josh. And Ben is saying collegiate, flawless collegiate is down to six. Nice. Yeah, let's get that done. Let's get that on the schedule and then give away some money. And Casey Golden, 62 out of 100. Atomic Refractor autograph for the Rockies. Scott S. with the Rocks. The Rockies are starting to come alive as well. After a very slow start to the season.
Would be nice for a Mayfield and contenders. Then a Mahomes and Collegiate. No pressure. Not at all. Never any, never any pressure on me. I'm just the dude opening the case. There's Ryan O'Hearn. Out of 499 for the Royals. I guess they do hit. There you go. That goes to Jared Jay and the Royals. There's a uh, Tirso Ornelius to 499. Well, I guess it does, Jay. I mean, I don't like the negativity approach. I'm negative on the negativity approach, but I guess for you, maybe it does work. All right, there are your three there, and three boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Next box. Public service announcements has been the Wander Bronco Chrome base card is selling for 14 15 bucks a pop on eBay. Man, that's crazy. Well, Daniel D has the raise. He'll be getting all of the uh, he'll be getting all of those Chrome cards. I'd rather pull the auto. What does a base auto go for, Ben? We were talking earlier about the... Uh, the uh, March-April players of the month, Tim Anderson for the AL, Cody Bellinger for the NL. The thing that uh, the thing that impresses me about Cody Bellinger this season especially, and if you look this, these stats up, for a, a power hitter like Cody Bellinger, look at how many infield singles he has. He's been doing a great job running out a lot of infield hits. So a base auto is right about eight hundred dollars last time I checked for Wander Franco. Man, that's crazy. Is he the real deal? It's hard to say if any of these guys are gonna be real deals, you know. But there's Cabrian Hayes to one fifty. That's that's half the fun of this stuff, the prospecting. Wow. Dudley is saying my buddy pulled a red shimmer autograph of Wander Franco to five from a Target blaster box today. Come on. Did you tell him to also buy a lottery ticket? Uh, 
There's Adam Halsley. Hazley? Halsey? EA bought a Wander base auto for about 500. So you got a deal, EA. Get that get that graded. Charles Young saying we're down to six on that flawless four, flawless collegiate four. Let's get that break credit. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get it onto that schedule too. The sooner we can do that, the sooner we fill that up, even in the middle of this break, the sooner we fill that up, maybe we can convince Nick to, to, to post another challenge. Yeah, Dudley was in disbelief. I'm in disbelief. Out of a blaster box? Yeah, that's a blaster box. What a, what a lucky SOB. That's a lot of work for that. You guys hear that? Jason Jaspi was saying in the background that there's a scam that was uncovered. Where 116 out of 250, Andrew Beckhold for Jarrett K and the Twins. The guys are opening up the bottoms of the blaster boxes like at Walmart, cutting open the bottom of the packs, taking out the hits, taping back the bottoms and returning them. Yeah, I, I would. I would definitely double check for sure. I mean, that's Walmart's fault too for not actually. Yeah, Walmart's got to look at the bottoms of the. Oh, have you? Dudley's been like, I've I've been on the receiving end of that scam a couple times. Yeah, that sucks. Man. Man. That guy that Lion Richardson. Come on, Walmart. Come on, Target. Got to make sure when you're getting, getting stuff returned. Gotta look at that stuff. Not with Bowman specifically, but just, just in general. You know, and w when you're buying a blaster box, like a retail box, like you don't even think about it, right? Like you know those scams exist, but you're just like, it's like such a spontaneous purchase for me anyway. I'm just like, oh yeah, I'll just grab that. I'm not looking at the bottoms of those boxes. See, a lot of shadiness in the hobby, folks. It's unfortunate, but keep your eyes open, ladies and gentlemen. Should be expecting one more auto out of this box, ladies and gentlemen. Keep an eye out for it. There's Kyle Freeland to 499. There's Ryan Weathers to 499. Speaking of Padres prospects like Ryan Weathers, Cal Quantrill made a start last night. Did everyone see that? I forgot what his numbers were. I think it was a decent start. That's Paul Quantrill's kid. Everyone remember Paul Quantrill? I think he was a reliever, right? From mostly most of his career. But his kid, his kid Cal, made a start for the Padres last night. So dust off your Cal Quantrill 
cards. I guess just those two autographs. Maybe that, that maybe that balances out the five autographs we got in that other box. I don't think I missed one, right? No, I don't think I did. They're pretty obvious in this set. Usually in the same spot too. Yeah, it, that must be. That <laughs> probably balances out the the five autographs we got in the other box. That makes sense. All right. Yeah, EA's like, yeah, I figured that would happen. I mean, yeah, the boxes are so close together in the production process that it likely makes sense. All right, two autos, to, uh, two boxes to go, six autographs to go. I think we're still up on autos. With, I, had, I had five autographs that one box. So unless we get shorted another auto, we should have 25 autos instead of instead of 24 autos. Uh, schedule's in the, in the chat, Sam. I just dropped it in the chat. Um, not for a little bit. Yeah, that would be annoying if you bought the single box like that. But that's the that's the gamble, right? The other guy would be the other guy who got the five auto box is gonna be really happy. Honestly, though, with the, with the thousands upon thousands of boxes that they make, I'm surprised that that doesn't happen more often. You know, boxes with more autographs and then boxes with less autographs. Out of 499, Bo Burrows for the Tigers. Boombox, you've heard of a new scam where breakers open boxes and forget to replace the good auto they took out? That was the Wander Franco. There's Chris Paddock to four ninety nine.
Lercido Sanchez to 50. And Nate Lowe. Nate Lowe for the Rays. Daniel D with the Rays. Not to be confused with the other Rays player who spells his last name the same way, but he says it's pronounced Brandon Lau. Nate Lowe just got called up too. Nate Lowe and Brandon Lau. And there's Connor Capel to 150 for Michael Eng and the Cubbies. Blue chrome. I like when the parallel matches the color of the team. Oh, no, check that. Sorry. Indians. Brett Foy. I just, I just saw a big C there and just assumed Cubs. The parallel doesn't really match the color of the team then. Brett with the Indians, though. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. False alarm. Jeter Downs. Yeah, Brandon Lau has been crushing. And the Rays have been crushing. Rays are playing some incredible bait. Rays might... I think the Rays could win the division, ladies and gentlemen. Is that crazy talk? I know it's super early. We're only a month into the season, but... Can the Rays win that division? What do you think? There's Brandon Lau right there. It's 250. Purple paper for the Rays. There's Nick Senzel. Speckle to two ninety nine. The Red Sox don't seem like they've quite got it together yet. Chris Salesman ineffective for most of the season. The Yankees just battling like a dozen injuries to key players. So this could be, you know, and the Blue Jays aren't fully formed yet. There's Edward Cabrera for the Marlins. Jared Nichter with the Marlins. So, oh, Senzel has been called up already? Nice. EA saying Senzel, Senzel has been called up. There you go. So we're starting to see those prospect names that we've been looking at for like the last couple of years or so and starting to see them make their slowly make their way into the majors All right, those are your three there. And the final three. Good luck, everybody. We'll do a quick recap video after this, and then we'll uh, probably take a quick five, and then we'll get that next break started. You can see the schedule in the chat, everybody, just joining us. Strasburg's been taken out of the game, leaving two runners on, but it looks like he's had a great day. Oh, my fantasy team, he even have a great day.
my fantasy team doing today? I've gained a couple points in my Roto League. Jonathan Scope, two for four, RBI. Manny Machado, one for five, a double, RBI, two runs scored. Mookie Betts, one for one. Mookie Betts is starting to heat up. Got my fantasy team as well. One for one and a run scored. Eddie Rosario, 0 for 4. Harrison Bader, 1 for 3. Rui Garcia, 1 for 1 with a double and a run scored. White Sox are leading the Red Sox 2 to 1, the bottom of the first. So some runs already. Nice, Charles. Looks like Flawless Collegiate 4 has sold out. So that means our break credit promo is good to go. Nice, thanks everybody. We'll, do, we'll run that randomizer early. You can get that break credit. If you're a winner, you can get that break credit in your pocket earlier. This is the last box right here. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr., 250, purple paper for Boombox. Nice. Paper. Out of 125, Colton Welker for the Rocks. Hi there, Brad. New to the room, but Spectre eBay breaks tonight are at 9.20, it says, if that's what it says. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the eBay is run in the studio behind me. It's on a completely different channel, too. If you look at your items description, there should be a link to that, to that channel behind me. Good luck. That's a nice break. There's Marco Luciano, uh, Speckle. It's hard, always hard to see the numbers on these speckle parallels. They're all out of 299. This one is. I can't even read it like this. 98? There you go. 98 out of 299. There it is. No, no worries, Brad. Good luck in that break. Not a big deal at all. All right. There you go. Yeah, it looks like the stream is going to go live in about 10 minutes. So there you go. Actually, you just click that channel right there and it'll take you there.
And there's Julio Rodriguez. 405 out of 499 for the Mariners. That's going to go to Sean Parr. And should be expecting one more autograph out of here. There he is. That's what he's all about, Julio Rodriguez. Cole Tucker's been called up, too. Oh, no worries, Ruyo. Oh, sorry, yeah, it's for you. Giants, off Ojo Mojo. I don't think I said your name, right? But you're welcome. I do like this. The speckle threw me off. Out of 50, Brian Mata, gold wave for the Red Sox, Karen. It should be one more autograph. Autographia. Usually here. There it is. Steel Walker. That goes to the White Sox. That's for David Duffy. I feel like Karen Steele should get... They spell the same way, Karen. Maybe PC this guy. White Sox, though, is owned by David Duffy. That's for you, David. And that's the last auto of the break. Let's see if we can find some other parallels here. Maybe. We'll see. Good luck. And thank you. It's just paper. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Ready for the show. It looks like that is that, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Eight box jumbo. Pick your team. Number 15 in the books. Thanks, everyone, for getting involved in this. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.